wondering whether education institutions have reached a stage of absolute greed. Look, today our B8 students went to the college in SCT, one college in Kavita Sakura in Bangalore City. Half an hour before the examination, just two days back, they asked us to pay 60,000 rupees for three students. It is 40,000 for one semester. And they said, for our country, you can't teach them, but not a five country. They said they'll run um, weekend classes, they didn't run the weekend classes. And I was with black men, they said, no thanks, no. And my children are in deep trouble. They gave you a Chandra Kila Madam man and paid 60,000 rupees, the last, uh, what called, um, they had given us a uh, concession for payment in installments. So, the last installment for the third semester was paid for three students, 60,000. And today when they went for the examination, uh, two o'clock was the examination, and then their announcement came, pay 3,500 rupees for one seat. Whether you go and write the same like me, so what? Whether you attend that uh, program or not, you have to pay 3,000 rupees. I am running a school and college for too many years, not a five I have taken from any child or from the parents. Somewhere we were able to exist and give an orderly increase, even the debts of goods for the everything. Shocking that there is a loot going on in the country. We then thought of um, complaining, but uh, if anybody would listen. So we complaining in Bangladesh University. The last time when we complained, they, the principal of the SCP college started taking revenge on the children. And they started shouting. Teachers, so teachers are going for teachers training and the principal starts using bad languages, singular languages, as if they are six after taking big money. And my children were telling a lot of North Indians and Kerala children are there. They pay a lot of money, so they don't attend or principal and give them the marks we needed. I think this situation needs change. Zubaga was Gita. Quotes 24. When a man dwells on the pleasure of sins, the attraction for them arises in him. From attraction arises desire, the lust of possession, and this leads to passion, to anger. When a man dwells on the pleasure of sins, that is what was Bhagavad Gita Krishna has told years back, 5000 years back, and it has come beautifully truthfully to almost every department of the society for the autocrat and for the leaders to loot and for the one two percent of the rich to control the 19 percent wealth of the country when a man dwells on the pleasure of sense if he's not dwelling on the pleasure of sense they create schools and colleges and the amount of the books in the name of education the amount of Things which is dumped into the mind, which is getting rotten, that uh, creates the pleasure of sense because they have been disconnected, their roots have been non-stop chopped. Like the Japanese uh, plant, they keep on trimming it, the roots so that it doesn't grow bigger, but it looks like a big tree. Likewise is our education system. When a man dwells in the pleasure of sense, man dwells in the pleasure of sense, pleasure of books, pleasure of the activity in the school, when they go to the school and the college, zero, they don't have to listen, and they will not have the power to listen. They have eyes, but they do not have to see. They have brains, but they do not have the use of brains. They need to copy Haribari Gooseberry. And what is written in the book, learn by heart. When that happens, the attraction for them arises in him. Attraction of copying without understanding, feel, smell, taste, touch, and see. Attraction for them arises in them without sweating it out. Attraction for them arises in them because when everybody is doing, if it was a mass hypnotism, 5,000 years back, the Krishna said, but it is now in the length and breadth of every nook and corner of the world, this 
dwells in the pleasure of sense from attraction attraction for anything and everything except for them they are not attracted to the wife to the husband to the children to the family and neither do they want to get attracted or it is not possible because they have been taught that relatives or related thieves you have to go to the friends you means you have to go to the next door always look at next door the wife always look at the next door while husband look at next door when they walk on the street and look into the shops not into the shops they enter into restaurant they eat cheap food but whether it is made by anybody sick man or how the kitchen looks never mind but they will eat and fall sick and pay money to the hospital when a man dwells on the pressure of sense the attraction for them arises in him hence we kept on telling the samskriti when you don't practice the samskriti pressure of sense the attraction for them arises in the child itself in the family itself and the family is broken without a single shot being fired the country has been taken without a single shot being fired the family has been taken without a single shot being fired the brain and the eyes and the ears and the nose have been taken you have to now go to the ear specialist to the eye doctor to make sure and then you have to go to the mental hospital to check up whether you need shock treatment to make you more mad culture shock and for you the culture shock is when to turn back to look into your family to look into your roots is a culture shock they won the battle you lost the battle now they know you will not move because the whole body has been punched punctured with poison and even if you wanted to look into your base you are not willing to look because for a small cold also you go to the doctor when you have cold if you go to the doctor and got doctor gives you medicine the cold will go off in a week's time but if you don't go to the doctor and don't take medicine goes off in 7 days time but people have become mad and hence everybody shouting at everybody bhagavad gita quotes say when a man dwells with the pleasure of sense the attraction with him rises from attraction rises desire desire to loot a desire to possess the lust of possession from desire i desire and that is accepted you desire to reach to that post and you find in that post it is nothing but a dim greed and leg pulling and madness and by the time you finish you become managing director chairman you come back home the wife is lost the children are lost the house is lost you land up not even in the old age home but in some hospitals in the ic waiting for when that will happen for the people to loot you the last lot of money children are not even willing to even keep you in the house they throw you in the hospital not even in the hospital hospital is already created for the children i see you i will see you all the money and you do not have to go there are nurses and doctors to threaten and blackmail you and put you inside the last position and this leads to passion to anger passion is nothing but a greed of rape instant rape instant noodles and this leads to passion and it's a, what is a passion everybody should have passion they, 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 they created that language to left and right for the children to have. you need passion passion leads to anger anger is criminality anger is death you can you will go to any extent but mentally you go to any extent to kill another person mentally and that anger is destroying your body destroying the family and everything is lost you are going in a circle ring 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 come out of that circle come out of the circle please when you practice your samskriti when you look even in nepal one kanya is been selected at the age of 8 till you re- she reaches the maturity she will be the goddess of nepal and what she has been taught is anybody comes and says my i have a baby born she has to the thought expression she has to bless them my father died without expression is good or bad water comes to know the thought expression teach your children that they see the shop they should not get attracted when the when the amount of time they spend on the books they amount that much time they spend on the house you have created the first step of your success in your house the deep rooted 
family tradition stands tall like a tall family tree and no fear, no disease will enter you. Try that. It's not too, too, too late. You think it is too late. You as a single person have to think you. I did it with nothing. If I can do it, you can do it. Bhagavad Gita says, when man dwells in the pleasure of sense, the attraction for them arises in him. From attraction arises or desire, the lust of possession, and this leads to passion, to anger, the death smell. And everybody is dead, moving like a dead body, come out of a dead body. Live alive. <laughs>